Hi you guys, welcome back to my garden. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and start doing our winter containers for the Lion Fountain area. I'm very excited because in our last video, I took you guys behind the scenes and I showed you how I go out and I'd like to gather my branches and gather all of my evergreen stems. That way I could just move from area to area. And I kind of go into the situation knowing about how many containers that I'm gonna be doing. Now in this area here, we have a total of 14 containers that I'm gonna be doing. And you guys, I'm so excited about the show. Even though our daytime temperatures have been like in the 50s, we are dropping down into freezing temps. So because I have these large vessels, a lot of them are actually frozen. So this container here, frozen. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna start out by boiling some water and I'm gonna go ahead and pour the water in these containers so we can get it nice and pliable so we'll be able to stick our stems in it. So let me go get the first bucket of water. remove all blow out all the leaves from this area that way when we have our winter containers done everything looks nice and fresh and you guys a lot of the times with gardening i tell people it's so much it's 80 percent of just preparation and a hundred percent enjoying and reaping the benefits except for in the summertime and that's one of the beauties about winter containers you guys once you guys put your winter containers in place you don't have to be out there spraying this spray, spraying that spray, because once the temperature gets cold enough and it freezes, it's going to freeze everything in place. So let me get off my soapbox. Let's go ahead and let's start blowing all of these leaves out. Now, I will say the way the light is coming through in this area, I wish it was just all full sun, but it may make it a little bit harder to actually see what's going on. But I want to go ahead and start moving out all of these leaves in this area. So let's get started. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay all of the evergreen branches out you guys and so you guys can see what i'm starting with i have a box full of just like the different accents here because i have a lot of containers that i'm going to be uh planting up so like the different arborvitaes and the different uh leland cypress that i showed you guys i also have over here in this one you guys i have pine cones as well but let me show you how we're going to do these containers up so i'm thinking that in these containers right here i'm going to come in and i am going to use these tall birch logs i have a ton of birch logs here so i think i'm gonna go probably one As you guys can see, these birch logs here, they're very tall and they extend up almost to the top. That's the look that I'm going for. But in order to secure these in, I am going to go in and I'm going to mallet these in place real quick. Have this birch log in and I'm okay with it extending a little bit beyond the sunroom here and if I need to later on I can go in and adjust it. I'm gonna start to add my stems here.
what I'm gonna do now, because it is getting dark, I am gonna go ahead and put my info structure in on the other side. structure in place for the two terracotta pots but you guys we're definitely not done now I could go ahead set the scene up and we could go ahead and shoot a video in the dark and I've done that before especially during Christmas time because I feel like it really illuminates the area but I'm not interested in doing that today so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call the video quits for this section right now and i'll meet you guys bright and early in the morning i'll definitely have some hot coffee because hey it is december and who knows we might have to put on a couple of boiling hot pots again the pots might just freeze up overnight so see you guys in the morning hi you guys so i'm excited i'm ready to finish everything and you know what you guys overnight i literally my mind was just racing and Part of me wanted to pull the birch wood logs here. I'm gonna go through with the insulation that we have going here. Now, a couple of different things that I wanna do. Um, I am gonna check to see if the soil is still pliable, but you guys, in these containers here, we're gonna also use birch woods in our front container. So let's move up a little bit and we'll look at the front container. All right, you guys, so it seems like Mm, the soil is a little bit frozen already again so we'll go ahead we'll get some boiling water on the stove but what we're going to do while the water is boiling i'm going to actually come in and add birch to the two to the containers here as well because i want everything to be cohesive baby and i want it to be on point have these two birch logs here right let me get a sip of my coffee and then i'll go ahead and set this down Mm. you guys so i have these two birch logs here so train of thought is thinking this way what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and i am going to add birch log here and birch log here because i want cohesion from the front to the back you guys it is going to be epic if everything goes the way that i have it planned out in mind but you guys also in addition to that i'm going to come in with some red twig dogwood let me run and go get a bundle of the red twig and i'll be right back all right so you guys okay it's pliable so i can get these in here so hold on making our christmas memories as you can see we have all of the drama all of the fabulosoness going on in this container but i'm not done and as i'm going to try to insert the stems down i'm being met with resistance so it's only what i need to do is go ahead and melt these um warm up the soil a little bit so we're going to go ahead we're going to use a little bit of boiling water in there because we don't want it drenching wet and that's good for our evergreens because it'll go ahead and it'll freeze up and it'll hold everything in place. Now, while we have the boiling water on, what I'm going to do is we're going to have to use power tools in order to get the look that we want. So, let me show you what I mean by that. I have these birch logs here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to make some real quick cuts. And so, by me making my cuts, instead of me going to buy so you can buy a bundle of three for like $16.99 or you can take one of these I think these are six feet maybe six feet birch poles and cut them down to the size you need instead of spending $16.99 on them so again you guys anytime I can show you guys 
ways on how to save money with your winter containers i'm going to do just that so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and start making these cuts we already have our boiling water on so we'll go ahead and get these prepared and i'm thinking that i'll probably do like two in these containers two in those we definitely going to represent for the big tall urns as well so let's go ahead and get to it I have all of the wood cut that I need so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is two here matter of fact let's just get the infrastructure in place for these ones and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do All of the containers done but what I want to do to complete my look is I want to make sure that I have a beautiful centerpiece because you guys we're supposed to get up in the 70s and that's one of the things that I enjoy is sitting outside in my garden no matter what time what season it is so in December in the 70s and I'm going to sit outside and I'm going to love every minute of it having coffee reading a book or even just simply browsing the internet or answering emails soil here now we don't need much because our vegetables Vessel's not very big. I'm not going to worry about putting anything in the bottom of it. So about a scoop and maybe I'll get another scoop. Maybe this is a little bit too much, 
but if we would have started with a healthy scoop from the beginning we probably would have we could have gotten away with just using one scoop okay so now it's full you guys and i am going to pack a little bit more in there because i am going to be watering this okay so now the size that i have here I have some remnants of my red twig dogwood. I have my Port Orford cedar here. And then I also have some Fraser fir. You guys, I love Fraser fir. And you guys, if you want to know how to save money on your containers, I have a video that I did last year. And I'll go ahead and I'll link that for us. But what we're going to do, and I also have some birch logs, but I have them on picks, okay? And it's perfect for this little container. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in and I'm going to put my picks into place. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to make a real quick cut. So what I want to do is I've already made my first cut here with my birch. And if I were to go in and put this in, it would not hold up. So... One of the things that I always try to keep on hand is a little bit of chicken wire and it comes in handy at different times. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to make our cuts to the chicken wire real quick and I don't need a big piece because I just need the chicken wire to act as a stabilizer. Alright, so I just have a little small piece of chicken wire right here. I'm going to take the rest and just set this off to the side real quick. Oh, I thought I had got Nelly. Penelope. All right, so let me go ahead and get my gloves on real quick. All right, so I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to wrap this up underneath the soil. And just kind of just bury it on in. I am going to go ahead and give us a little bit of height. And I'm going to add just a little bit more soil here. Now, one of the things you can do is you can use rice holes, and that will help stabilize it a little bit more. But I'm going to put that first one in, and you see how that instantly just gives me the capability to keep my birch log in place. And I want this to be a little bit taller. All right, so I'm going to come in about so nope here we'll go actually what we'll do is we'll go shorter here and one thing you can do if it's not staying you can take and kind of twist your birch log and then you want to have that next one in and I want that to be maybe a little bit shorter. Okay, so as I start to put my stems in here, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start to add my red twig dogwood. Just kind of just going in sporadically and just adding that on in. So I'm going to come in with my winter greens, right? I'm going to put these in in a fashion so that they kind of 
stick in but stick out at the same time and you are going to be able to see this container from all areas so anything that you cut in these small containers you put it off to the side because you can come back and use it Anything that you cut, just come back and use it. Nothing is waste. So I feel like I kind of have this full enough. And let me put a little bit more in the front. Okay. And come back in and just tuck it right here in the front. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and just slightly add some of our cedar here. And look I'm going for. Okay, see what difference that makes when you come back in and just add just a little bit more of that green. So I'm seeing a lot of blue here. A little bit for the back because you will be able to see it, so I got at least a little bit. So I'm gonna have this winter container gracing a table over in the Lion Fountain area. So let's go ahead and let's get this beautiful container in its place. So before we go, let's grab our paintbrush, let's grab our pruners. That way, if it's anything that we need to critique when we get over there, you know, just nip and tuck a little bit. We won't have to come all the way back over here and get them. So let's go ahead and let's get this beauty in its place. Whoa. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep I already went in and I sprayed it with Will Stop yes, It's an anti-transpiring and what it does is it, it helps seals in the moisture and it also helps you keep that prolonged green color that we all long for in our winter container. So I decided to go ahead and pull the other containers that I had in this area because I just wanted a new look and that's something that I love to do in my garden. I love to just change out the containers and that way it keeps everything fresh. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what this area is looking like because I'm dying to show you guys. I'm not sure if you're dying to see it, but if you are, go ahead and drop down in that comment box and say, reveal the area already. I achieved this look in this container here I started off with my birch logs and I built out my container in a way that you would get just the smallest hint of birch so depending on what angle you're walking in which angle you're passing the container you can see the birch logs just peeking up slightly above the green and then we use some beautiful red twig dogwood and I didn't want the red twig dogwood that had that deep heavy color so i got very excited when i came up on this red twig dogwood that was very bright it was very vibrant and i went crazy you guys so instantly i knew that i was going to definitely have red twig dogwoods in every single one of my containers out here now we also softened the red twig dogwood and gave you just a little hint of the port or for cedar here and you have that going and then you have the fraser fur that i just love to use in my containers now let's go ahead and let's move on to the next container here these urns here i went in and i wanted to have a bold statement with these birch logs so i went in with two taller ones 
anchored them out of course i accented with the red twig dogwood again the port or fur cedar and then the fraser fur that i so love and it gave me the look that i was going for so while this container can stand on its own it actually complemented the other container brings that look of cohesion in now if we go down to the container in the front in this container down in the front i did not use any type of birch logs because i wanted to give the eye some rest and that way by not using any birch logs it gave the red twig dogwood the opportunity to stand out i echoed that same pattern and the container behind because that container is smaller so therefore it complements and lets you know that this is a cohesive look and it draws your eye back to the terracotta pots that we have right here so with our terracotta pots we basically repeated the same pattern except for we use these massive birch logs to bring you in and anchor the entire look in from the back and you guys i'm so satisfied with my selection and i'm glad that i did not jump ship and switch out from this look and i repeated the look again with the other container on the opposite side and i'm so glad that i did that so let's take a moment to take all of this in because it's definitely a lot to look at well i'm all for christmas all the happy smiles and the wishes and i want it all from the lights to the mistletoe tell me one thing is we have these containers all dressed up and i'm going to leave these evergreens in place until i pull them out for the springtime oh so, you guys let me know what you think about this area. If you're enjoying videos like this, go ahead, click that subscription button. We love to have you join us. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.